Hi guys, my name is Ivana. Welcome to my channel. Today I am here with the bag video. Finally, I know you guys have been like, where the heck has she been? Well, I've been enjoying my bags like crazy, but I just have been, I just have been in such a slump with filming. So today I am filming like crazy. So that's how it goes with me, I guess. Today I am here to take on the minimalist handbag challenge. And this was started by the chicken purse chick, you guys. So I'm gonna link her channel down below and her videos. Please go check out her channel. She's got a lot of bag videos, shopping videos, thrifting videos. She's so much fun. Go check her out. So I am taking this challenge on because this is something that I have been wanting to do my, myself. And I have so many small bags now. I've been purchasing little mini bags, but I tend to just carry them when I go to concerts or sometimes on weekends, but mainly when I go out at night because other times I want to carry more stuff with me. And I don't know why, because a lot of times I don't use the stuff that I carry. I don't know. It's, it's almost like you feel safe when you have all your stuff with you, but you don't necessarily need to be carrying all of it with you because, you know, you just feel like you're carrying so much. And these shoulders need a break. So this is my current bag that I've been carrying. It was rainy like crazy yesterday, so I switched into my Dooney & Burke nylon large pocket satchel. This bag is so pretty for a nylon bag. It's got all of the gold accents and details. It's got the cute little embroidered duck. But let me tell you, for being a nylon bag, this bag is heavy. This is not a light bag. And I tried carrying it with a crossbody strap yesterday, even though it's got this nice pad here. I couldn't do it. It was just suffocating my shoulder and my neck. So I just tried to carry it by the handles and you can remove this center section and use it like a shoulder bag. And that is how I was carrying it before. It's a great bag. Look at that. Wow. It's a great, great bag, you guys. But for me, for a crossbody bag, I need something smaller because I, ca I can't stand the feeling of it, you know, choking me here. So I'm gonna switch out of this giant bag and I am going to challenge myself to carry this little cutie all week long. And this is going to be perfect because Wednesday we're going to another concert and I probably would have switched into something like this anyway. And now I won't have to switch because I'll be all set to go. So this is the Lexington crossbody in the Safiano leather in the caramel or caramel color, however you say it. It's got the pretty Dooney and Burke a gold tone logo. It's got a front pocket, nothing on the back, the pretty braided zipper pull, no feet on the bottom because it's a small crossbody, smooth gold shiny zipper and hardware, crossbody strap, very pretty generous. It does not have the center section that you can remove because it is intended to be a crossbody. It's a pretty good size, but it's got a nice slender profile still, so it will be pretty comfortable, I believe, as a crossbody. It's got the red cotton lining, long key keeper, but it's got a lot of room in there. The front wall has one larger slip pocket. It is not trimmed or collared in leather. The back wall has the Safiano leather with gold tone Dooney and Burke logo. It's got another large slip pocket in front of a zipper pocket. I've got the information that goes with the bag in there. But I think this bag has great organization for being a little bag. So I'm going to try to use this pouch. I may or may not switch into this as my wallet. This is a little Kipling card case that I got at the outlet last time I was at the Rosemont outlet. 
it's the miniature little art I think that's what they're called the art wristlet so it has one compartment there it's got a little miniature center section here which it's not big enough to hold a card but you can maybe put coins in there or a lip gloss or something it's got another pocket on this side that's equal to size in there so it's got great organization for this tiny little card case it even has a little silver tone clip there that you can clip your keys on to and take on and off which I love because Dooney and Burke does not do that on their card cases they just have a ring to hold your key I wish they had done a claw like this that you can take your keys on and off and then it's got their signature little zipper which is so cute I think this thing is adorable okay let's try seeing what I can carry from my everyday carry into here and be satisfied for a week I don't know guys this is gonna be rough so I've got a lotion I don't think I'm gonna be able to carry that I don't really need that all the time I just it's nice to have but I don't necessarily need it these are my oils I think I need to carry these with me at all times I have to try to figure out how to keep those in there these are more oils I kind of like that this is made out of Tyvek kind of material and so if they leak I think that this will be waterproof so I put them in here for a little extra protection in my bag my sunglasses this is gonna be a tough one this I am carrying my lipsticks lip gloss my thieves hand sanitizer uh, my lavender lip balm and that's about it I have about three or four lipsticks in here all fits very nicely I'm not going to be able to carry all of these with me I don't think my Vera Bradley mirror my earbuds I need to have these with me on an everyday basis and I do have this bag organizer in here I believe I got this on QVC I don't know if it's a Lori Grenier or not but it's more of a structured one so on bags where really floppy and I want a little structure I tend to use this one and how can I forget my wallet this is my Kate Spade little card case wallet that I got at the outlet it's one of my favorites because it's a beautiful red color I would call this similar to the Dooney and Burke geranium I just love it this is my favorite favorite shade of red empty look at that color Oh my god that's so gorgeous this is an Anushka makeup case or pouch I love the design I've got just it's like my little catch-all and extra thing so in this card case I have insurance cards and anything that has to do with insurance like my flex spending cards and things like that and then just some random coupons Kleenex case green tea I don't know why I'm carrying that around two of these little Altoid tins because they're great for you know I have mints and gum in there and in this one I've got um, mints um, some Tylenol some ibuprofen and some vitamins and I've got my mom's house keys this is a little container with some Schmidt's natural deodorant in there for on the go when you need it that's all that's in here this look at how pretty that looks together though isn't it perfect I I think this is just too big to be carrying in here because it cannot fit in well no it's just it barely it barely no I can't zip it up so it would have to go it would have to go horizontally and it would work but I feel like it takes up a lot of space and I don't know if I want to take up all that space because I have too much I need to fit in here so in this which is one of my favorites it's got that I don't know if it's leather or vinyl in there it feels like it could be that smooth glove leather but it also could be vinyl but it's nice because if anything like makeup or oils leaks in here it will not ruin 
So let's try to do the daunting task of trying to figure out what I want to take with me and what I want to leave home. So these are two of my everyday lipsticks. I either wear one or I wear this one. So I really only need these two. My This I barely ever even use. I like to have it with me just in case. I think I'm going to try to fit this in here just as it is. Thieves. I also don't use this a whole lot, but it has come in handy lately. It really has. I don't know. This is a maybe. So I think I might switch into this finally out of this because this is a, a little bit thick. So I just don't know. Is it going to make it thick when I put everything in there anyway? I'm going to get rid of my change because I'm, I usually empty the change out. And then just my cards that I use on a daily basis. And then maybe I can stick this in here to take up the rest of the space and everything fits perfectly. Zips up, nice and slim. So I've got, so far, I've got this that I need to put in there. I think this is all a must. And then on top of it, I still have to fit my phone, which I always forget because I film with it. So I pack everything in and I think I'm good. And then I forgot my phone. Hair tie. Always good to have a hair tie. I'm gonna stick that in with the lipsticks. Oh, the only thing that I have left out, I need maybe Kleenex with me. This is very slender though. I have fitted in here before. Maybe I should try to do that. Sometimes it gets caught up in the zipper and I don't want to risk ruining, but it worked. Look, it worked. Okay. Let's do this thing. I'm going to put this this way. I might have to downsize this. I don't use all the oils all the time. There are like three that I use on a regular basis and they're little. These are my minis. I just really would like to have them all with me. That's one of those things I just want the comfort of having all the oils I need when I need them. So I put that in there. Now I'll put the other pouch of oils in there. My wallet. I want to kind of keep this front slip pocket available for my phone because the phone will fit in here but it sticks up and I don't always feel secure with that in there but you know, for running around town into the store, having my phone handy is good, but to go to a concert or something where I want my phone to be very well secured in here, where there's a crowd of people, I'm going to need to put it inside. So here are the oils. Here are my earbuds. It's starting to get kind of cramped now. And it's going to be rough fitting the sunglasses in. So I've got that. This is the case that I use because it's got a two compartments and I need to carry my regular glasses for distance as well as my sunglasses. But it kind of is puffy. This will actually fit on top. What makes this hard as an everyday bag for me is, yeah, I can cram everything in here, I can lay it, but if I need something, I can't easily reach in and get it. I have to take things out to find stuff. And then I have to put it all back in strategically. So that is the only pain. It might be a tight squeeze for my phone. I know I'll be able to fit it, but I will be squishing things. And this is what happens to the zipper. And I'm afraid I might be bending my, my sunglasses too much. It makes it difficult to put anything in this pocket once this gets so stuffed. So I might have to rethink some things. Gosh, I wish I didn't need the glasses. If I didn't need the glasses, I'd be all set. Perfect. Earbuds, earbuds, earbuds. They are necessary for me. Hmm. I could put those in my work bag because I tend to use those more here when I'm walking at home or when I'm at work at my desk, sometimes I listen to music and I walk at lunchtime there. So I definitely could put those in my work bag. So I might actually take these out. 
Looks a little better now. All I have left to put in here now is my phone and I can lay my keys on top if I need to put them in there. I usually just put my keys in my pants pocket when I go into stores and stuff like that because it's easy to find. This is definitely going to work. Definitely going to work. Okay, so let me show you what this bag looks like on. Oh, I'm so stiff from sitting cross-legged on this bed. Tough getting old. Tough getting old. So here's what it looks like. Strap is not removable, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that. So here it is crossbody. It's very comfortable. It's very lightweight. Sapiano leather tends to be lightweight. And I think it's going to work out just fine. So thanks, Kim from Chicken Purse Chick, for sharing your challenge with us. And I hope all of you guys try this challenge. Tag anybody who's watching and would like to try this. And share your videos and, and your tricks and tips and how you've done it. And then um, let me know in the comments below if you're going to do this challenge. Or even if you're not going to do a video, tell me how you downsize in the comments. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great week. Take care.